So I always requested this challenge. Um, ignore the title. But basically the theme is balls only. So you have a doors ball light. You have ultra jug balls. You have ball lightning. And you have spiked balls. Now it's just plain chips, cornfield. And apparently with these cameras only, it's doable. So let's do it. Although I'm gonna do it in my own editor. Because then I can retry last round. And it won't rage quit if I die randomly. Let's go. So the biggest problem right now, just look at these towers. Uh, our only camo is spike balls. There is ultra jog, but why would you go for a 5 2 2? You lose so much DPS if you don't buy this guy. I guess I'll think about that later, but spike balls may actually just be all camos in chimps. At least on this map. Because this map is pretty long, even though it's uh, advanced. Let me just see what it beats round 6 here. I want to do a druid into a dark monkey. Sounds good to me. Yeah, we'll get 215. Awesome. I also don't know if this is a good Yujuk spot, but whatever. Let's just go with it. Pray it's good enough. We're also going to try to get Adora as early as possible. I'm probably also going to need level 20 Adora. So I gotta sacrifice like 30k worth of towers to get that. What is the cheapest defense to get Adora right now? What I could also do late game, by the way, is maybe if camos are an issue, go for the dumb Ultra Jug with camo. And then whenever I need to like get levels with Adora, I'll sack the dumb Ultra Jug for the attack speed. And then maybe do it again for a camo round. Nice snipe. Nice snipe. We're dead. I might need to buy Hearthorns. Oof. Damn, Hearthorns is good. Beat this round 13 here, and then we get Adora. And we're set. There is a bit of RNG, yeah, with the Thorns, but it is what it is. Alright. Okay, that's not bad then. Not too much micro involved. So Adora right here, I think. Getting that super early level 1. But yeah, I need to get my camo now, I think. Because I'm thinking I don't want to buy a camo in the dot right now. Just rush the spike balls. As for what coins you remove, that's a good question actually. What coins do you remove when you do Ultra Jug? Because frankly, if you leave the corn here, I think Ultra Jug is much stronger. If you get rid of it, it loses just a lot of the, the damage. Because a lot of the balls would be missing. So I think the only coin I'm going to remove is this. These two. So let me just start, because I know I'm going spike balls. So let's go very early. They're all going to be three two zeros. Can Adora be around 100? Uh, Ball Light does a lot of damage, so I'm hoping that we have the ability up for 100. Because I'm pretty sure we don't need it for 99. Because Adora can't hit DDTs no matter what. So it's only going to be mobs that round that are going to be an issue. So you could probably just like level 3 Adora 99. And then have 98, 100, Ball of Light that round. But yes, no outbuffs, no pat, no village. If you remember, I did an off the coast run with Spike Ball Spam, but that was with a lot of buffs. A lot of buffs. On the bright side, this map is longer than off the coast. So we got that going for it. But yeah, we're just gonna rush Spike Balls. Doesn't Krog Cannon shoot balls? Yes. This challenge uh, has disabled a few other uh, ball like projectiles. Like, this is very strict in the restrictions. Only actual balls. So, like, spike balls. Either the upgrade has to ha have ball in the name, or it's literally a ball. Like, Ultra Jug. Because there is, like, um, Bez. That shoots out tons of little balls. There's cluster bombs, and the bombs are balls. They're circular shaped, but not allowed here. Pretty sure we just tank 40 here. Like, don't even use the door ability. This can take all four rams. Yep. Guys, spike balls OP. What can I say? So again, we're gonna cram as much as we can, because I really cannot remove. Maybe I can remove this one, like one, two, three, if I need this land. But I cannot remove this giant corn. 1500, because otherwise, this juggernaut would be shooting out the map. And I won't get any bounces in the middle here. I'm not sure what the, the right time to go for a juggernaut is. Because again, this has to solve all camos. So I don't think 2 is good enough for now. It's 51, 56, they're pretty hard. 
So I may want to go maybe for them into Yujug. As long as I get this guy before 63, then I think we're okay. I'm well aware that my mold damage is lacking, like, badly. I don't think we can be one Moab right now without using uh, durability. Like, just watch here. Again, not a big deal because this can just tank it. Look at that. Not even a dent to the spike pile. But right now, that's bad. We'll leak in all that crap to Rams. So, obviously, I'll use the ability for uh, any rough spots. Well, we're gonna get Yujug, and that was actually not bad. We literally first tried every round. We're currently black ordering this, technically. So, there it is. Now we're good to, like, I don't know, a while. I wonder if this can solo 78 camos, but um, if we get enough of them again, the answer would be yes. So, let's, uh, continue spamming. I'm probably gonna upgrade my Druid late game to, uh, Tornado. Because if I can Tornado some Ceramics, then Juggernaut can do some more damage to them without having to eat away my spy pile. That's the only th use I think I'm gonna get out of Druids in this game. Yeah, spy pals can take all DDTs. As long as no other blooms hit it, like, from Moabs. Then I think we're good. And as I said, we're chill. We still haven't even sacrificed anything to, to a door yet. So there's a lot of extra power we can uh, get. Alright, here's the plan. We're gonna remove coin number two. We're gonna go up to 12 spike balls. I don't know if we need more than that, but that's probably a good number to stop at. A good round even 12. And then keep the money in hand. If I ever run to around the Tard, buy a tower and then sacrifice it to Adora. Get that juicy level up. So, can 10 spike balls tank the camo wave? Here we will find out. And again, if we don't beat it, then I'll just sacrifice the uh, this Juggernaut. <laughs> Pathetic. Not even close. You know, I could use Ball Light this round, but I'm just gonna see if Spike Balls can take your entire ZMG. Because so far it's been everything we've thrown at it. Again, Black Bordered up to round 80. Four BFBs? No problemo. Easy. This is the dumbest, easiest cornfield chip strategy ever. But again, it won't work for harder maps because this map is long. But I'm loving what I'm seeing right now. I think we just want to pump levels to a door now, guys. Like, should I just get started on dropping random druids and then sacrificing them? I don't know the exact number that I need to uh, get level 20, but it's somewhere around 30 to 40,000 plus of sacrifices. Currently, we got zero. Big, fat, zero. So, let me just start. One ball lightning will get me from level 13 and a half to... Almost 15, yeah. 1.5 levels, just like that. For like a... 9k tower. You know what? I feel like just going for a 13. There's space. Again, I want to leave some space for druids. If I want to get a blowback, I can get one here. Yeah, like three of them, actually. Level 15, Adora. We'll use ball light now. But Ball Light before level 20 is so bad. Look at that, it did nothing. Barely half a ZMG of damage before it expired. We need level 20 to, to make Ball Light like... Super duper strong. Level 20 Ball Light, it's absolutely insane. Okay, I think this round, we have to stack. 4 ZMGs, not a, da a damage. I'm gonna Ball Light again, 2 this round, but... Is that enough? Look at how slow a door is getting damage. 100. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely dead. Okay. So, I need Adora levels. What's she at? 15.5. Alright. Scan of the Druid. Oh, you know what I'll do? No, no. The smart thing to do is start with the Spark Ball this round and then sacrifice this guy so you get damage, at least, when you sack. Do not use level 3 Adora until I sack. So, I'd say now is good. Level up. Awesome. I'm not sure if one Adora level is good enough, though, because we were off by a lot. This round could be sneaky hard. I'm pretty sure I'm not dead here. <laughs> I am pretty sure. So, let me sack now. Level 16. And then attack speed even more for 17. Right now. So, down to 12 again. How's that? Please tank. 
Uh, not quite. All right, hold on. Oh, hold on, I just realized. The new Adora uh, change. She gets 10% attack speed every time you sack now. So what I should be doing is sacrificing a Dart Monkey. Like, whenever it's up. I completely forgot about that. It's like 10%, but it could be... Could be useful. I'm going to drop a Dart Monkey. Sack it. And then hopefully the 10% matters. With the door here. Sack this. Attack speed. Drop a Dart Monkey. I can do like 4 more. And then buy mid round for more sack, so... When it's back in range... Get the attack speed buff. You'll see the attack speed with the, uh... That icon. So, one more Dark Monkey Sack. Alright, and then the next one's gonna be the Spactory. The Spactory. Perfect timing, basically. See that? Boom. Level 17, more attack speed. And it really comes down to this. Do another one of these for attack speed. Oh, third ball light. Yo. There's time for three ball lights. Still short, but... Uh, kill the jug? What do you guys think? Kill the jug? I really don't want to, but... This round just randomly became hard. So, we're not gonna make it, are we? Seems pretty bad. Well, here we go. Three, two... Alright. You jugs gotta go. So, I should keep it around, right? Until it's out of range, and then sell it. Sack it. Yeah, final bend, basically. How much leash do I want on this guy? Maybe one more sack of another dog monkey, and then get rid of it? Yeah, one more. And then this time, it's gone. It should go, right? It's still attacking, but... Screw it, I need it our levels. Bam, level 18. Level freaking 18, boys. And then for my next sacrifice, it's gotta be this one for level 19. Wait, the range is useless. Do I need level 20 Adora this round? Is this any better? It feels better. Come on. Three, two... <sighs> Dude, level 19 is useless. We just need level 18 Adora. There's really not much I can do to improve that. Like, seriously. I'll do strong on the ball light. Wow. I'm still short. I kind of wonder if I can do this. What if I don't get rid of the Ultra Jug this round? But get rid of the Spike Factor. Because right now, the only camo coming soon is 90 and 93. Those are only DDTs, a few of them. So maybe if I sacrifice enough Spike Factories to get a level 20 door this round. And then slowly build it back up for 95. And we can still win. Alright, I'm going to try that before I get rid of this guy, because I, I really want to keep this guy. He's good DPS. So, Bomb Rush level 20, killing every smack in the process. Alright. I'm not going to use... I'll use Ball Light now. We get two of them this round, but... I want the second Ball Light ability to uh, be level 20. For now, it can be weak. I, I don't care. But yeah, Bomb Rush level 17. Use the ability now, who cares? Bomb Rush. Not not 18 yet. Oh, we gotta get rid of a lot of factories. Like, down to 7, maybe? 18.7. Get rid of this guy. Yeah, one more, one more. It'll be this guy for level 20. Down to 8 factories. You hate to see it. But there it is. Got the level 20 door, and now Ball Light it just absolutely destroys this round. It's just so, so dumb. Just watch. Watch the night and day difference between a, a level 20 ball light versus a level 10. The easiest round of all time. Like, what even is this upgrade? This power spike. Now we gotta repair our uh, destroyed defense. Because 8 will not, definitely not beat 95 or 99. Again, I need to get back 12. This should be 90. If it doesn't, I'll be actually surprised. It's only 3. Yep. Fairly simple. Alright, 11 spike balls versus 60 DTs. Let's see. Not too bad. So we'll have both Adora abilities for this round. 
And 12 spike balls. You can build another one while the round's going. But I doubt we're being, you know, it's gonna be strong enough. So here come DTs. I'm just gonna use uh, both the door abilities. Again, no camo. The thing is, we're replenishing spikes. Every single shot, 14, 12 spike balls come out. Crap. Am I dead? I could try a camo juggernaut, that's all. With 2,500. I can't even afford it. Alright, wow. Well, safe to say, we lost. We lost because we sacked too much into Adora. Freaking round 87. What can I say? We lost. Lost to the final four DDTs. If this doesn't work, I'm actually gonna have to restart. Because, yeah, dead end. Dead end, guys. Here we go. Dead. Last three this time, yeah. I have to restart. Down to eight? Okay. So, 26, 6, 4, 6. So that means I gotta spend about 9k. 9k to get level 20, alright? Is that good? How close am I? Nice! Okay, so that barely gets me level 20. That's what I needed. I need to penny pinch this round. Because last time I sacrificed way overboard. Spent too much than I needed to. So, none of spikes. Now, I think I've got enough. Right, I could have sacrificed the darts. Why don't I do that? That cost me some money. Nah. I could have saved a little bit more, guys. Imagine that it cost me the game. Not sacrificing the three dart monkeys. Could you imagine? Alright, so I almost have a 13th spike balls, but no attack speed. Man, I'm mad. These three darts right here. I could have afforded it right now. Either way. Come on, money. Got it. 13. There's not much I can improve on if this fails. 3, 2, it's fine. I can I can use the ability immediately to get money faster. Or no, no, this, this. If you put a door on strong, then her ability will, I think, yeah, beat Serams earlier because it'll pop more Moabs at the start. So let's see. I'm not screwed. I'm not screwed. Now, immediately, I can get this a little faster. I'm sure at 1 DDT right now. 1 DDT. Come on. Do I have to revert? Rewind time? This actually might be rewind time. Are you go You gotta be kidding me. Is it really that close? Alright, well, we're sacrificing the three darts then, so I might as well just upgrade these to get more money from sacrificing. So sacrifice, sacrifice, um, ball of light. Sacrifice. I need to get exactly level 20. So it's about 3k left over, yeah. Two more spike balls to sacrifice, and then we're w we win. Pretty sure. 23-3. This gets me to... Next level. Uh, is this good, chat? I think it's good. So again, let me reiterate what I changed. So these three darts I had at the start are now gone. And I'm not cross-pathing, just in case. Maybe I want to save money going bottom path for the longer lifespan. But right now, my first run, I'm going to try just straight getting um, these upgrades. So I can buy spike balls very soon. Use ball light early. I'm mean, yeah, I'm using the abilities immediately. Come on. I need the money faster for even faster production. These two upgrades. No bottom path. Spam. Spam, spam, spam the upgrades, and that's all I can get. I have no other DT bomb power. 13 spike balls. Here we go, boys. Why will it not work? Finally, holy crap. Down to the last DDT. Now, let's just win, please. Like, should I go more spike balls? Or should I go blowback druids? Because part of me feels like spike balls would just be like, yeah, our lord and savior. Go for a 14th. 
So I will not have Ball Light up. Whatever, it's close enough, right? So let's go number 15, I don't care. No Druids, because Druids stink. So I'm going to start with Ball Light on Strong. And put a door on first. Let's use level 3 now. By the way, again, I don't need to use Ball Light for 99. I just need level 3 up. So I could use Ball Light to save this round. If I need to. And I will have it. Alright, sweet. Sweet. This should defend. Holy crap, it doesn't. That's a lot of balloons. Alright, I didn't try this yet. Why don't I get the 10% attack speed with Adora? Instead of going for another Spike Factory. Because that, because she's level 20. She does mad damage. So even though I'm not getting, uh, you know, XP because she's maxed. 10% attack speed could be a difference maker. Actually, I'll try to get a Tornado in the middle of the round. But yeah, keep getting that 10% attack speed with the sack. The good sack. Tornado now. Alright, we're doing something. Saving some some uh, spikes. 302. Keep sacrificing. 10% attack speed. Man, this round's close. Not as close as 95, I, I don't think, but... Alright, keep on dropping Dark Monkeys. Attack speed. I'm assuming, again, it works on the Ball Light. I don't know, I'm just assuming. That's Ram below back, though. I think... It's saving us. Nice. Alright, so I have level 3 for 99. That's all, that's all I, I care about. Use it now. This should tank 15 320s. If it doesn't... I will be shocked. I will be really shocked. Two, one. Yep. First try. And last round. Okay, I don't have ball light up, but it's close. Let's just get some bad damage, eh? One, two, zero. I think it's more efficient than going for uh, spike balls. Please let this be first try. Ball light does how much damage? 40%. Oof. I need two ball light abilities. I will have it. I will have it. Let me sack for attack speed. We should have this. We have ball light active right now. Attack speed. Two more ZMGs. And the end of this challenge. Finally. It took about two hours for this. With, you know, an entire 95 round restart. But honestly, worth it because it was, an, it was a good challenge. Good, tough, solid, 100 rounder. Solid, as my balls right now, after beating that challenge.